In this video, we're going to be buying an Instagram theme page, taking the attention that we get from that, and then converting it into sales with a Shopify page. Hey guys, welcome back to Common Lad. If you're new here, this channel follows my journey trying to make money. We do everything from flipping things on eBay all the way over to Shopify stores, Teesprings, different sort of Instagram growth pages, a whole bunch of really cool stuff like that. So if that sounds like stuff that you're interested in, please consider subscribing. So jumping right into it, you heard it right. We're trying to buy an Instagram theme page today. One of the things I discussed in the prior video that just came out on the channel was I wanted to get new a theme page, which then we could create a Shopify store for and then convert that attention into sales through the Shopify store. So I went ahead and did my research. I found about 14, 15 different Instagram accounts under 100,000 followers that don't seem to have have any sort of uh any sort of shop by pages link with them so far. My goal for this was to find a page in a certain niche and whatever niche it was didn't really matter to me. I was gonna build a page for whatever that niche was. I decided however to stick within the food niche, a niche that I'm not very familiar with. I have a page in the video game niche, I have a page in the car niche, and a couple other different like comedy and whatnot. But uh, my total following right now is about 50,000 followers. I'm trying to kind of grow that so we can also monetize even more followers. So my plan to do that is to buy another page so we don't have to build one and I think it could be pretty good. I found some pretty good ones. So the food niche is kind of where we're operating in. I have a whole bunch of different food pages here in front of me and I've been trying to look at them all. They range anywhere from between again like 20 to like 80,000. I'm not going over 100K. I'm trying to make sure they don't already have Shopify stores. And I think what my plan is here is I'm gonna go ahead and DM every single one of these pages and ask them if they're interested in selling and then whichever ones reply back we can then go ahead and make a uh, you know some sort of deal with them hopefully to purchase the page now I feel like this might have a decent success rate uh, I'm not sure I've never actually done this before this is more of a uh, be a Hezo strategy I'll link his channel down below he's lot, got a lot of great videos on a sort of flipping theme pages, buying them and using them for Shopify platforms. He does it all the time. It's really cool. And it's something that I've been wanting to play around with, so that's why I'm getting into it here. But again, we've got about 15 pages that we're gonna be looking at. We're gonna DM them and see if any of them reply uh, willing to sell. I'm looking not to spend over $500 Canadian, about 400 US, give or take. So uh, we'll see what we can get in that sort of price range and then uh, hopefully we get something really good. So this whole video is gonna be just focused on buying the page then I'm gonna make another video after it where, uh, where I go ahead and actually build a Shopify page for it which will be really cool. Uh, also, I'm not going to disclose the name of the pages because I want to use them kind of, I don't want anybody else to follow them because I want all the ads that go from the pages directly to a Shopify page with the Facebook pixel, which will then gather all the information we can use to advertise. However, if you guys are on the page, then it's going to throw off the Facebook pixel because it's going to be taking information from people that might not actually be interested in looking at the product but you're just looking at how I built the page or whatever. So for that reason, I'm not gonna disclose the name of the page, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and DM a whole bunch of them right now, or all of them actually, all the ones I have selected. And uh, within the next couple of days, I'll check in with you guys and see if any of them have actually accepted an offer or if they have an offer for us to sell. And uh, whichever one does, then we will hopefully be able to go through with that. I also got a social blade them all. I'm gonna look at their uh, engagement levels and everything like that, make sure they're legit and make sure that they will be uh, you know, profitable in the future and have enough attention to actually make money on them. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and DM some pages. This is gonna be a lot of fun and I will let you guys know when we hopefully have a reply. And if not, we're gonna be DMing a lot more. So this is gonna be fun and I will, uh, I'll see you guys when we have some sort of reply. Okay guys, so here's the deal. I've actually gone ahead and contacted maybe 15 pages on Instagram asking them if they'd be interested in selling. About half of them got back to me and all really around the same price range of about $800 to $1,000. Which as we discussed earlier in the video is kind of way out of my price range. I'm looking to again spend under $500. So uh, yeah, that, that's quite a bit more. I might try to negotiate some of them down, but uh, for the most part here, we're gonna be looking for some more pages now. Maybe a little bit of a smaller following, kind of under the 50,000 follower, uh, you know, number. These ones were all kind of between 50 and 100 with a couple uh, a little bit smaller, but yeah, I think I'm gonna look at some smaller pages for sure and hopefully we'll be able to get them for a good deal. Anyway, I'll throw some screenshots up of the chats that I did with pages I didn't buy just so you can kind of get an idea of what's kind of they're saying, what I'm saying. Uh, however, I will let you know, hopefully next time that I come on here, I'll let you know it's either uh, gonna be the idea of the 100 more pages and none of them wanted to sell, or we will have uh, hopefully gotten a page by then. So let me go ahead and uh, DM a whole bunch more, see what I can find, and I'll let you guys know when we buy one. Oh boy, guys, am I ever excited. We did it. We successfully completed the challenge or the mission, whatever you wanna call it. We successfully purchased an Instagram page. I'm super pumped about it. It's a food page. It's got 43.5, 43 thousand followers, something around there. Uh, and it's already growing. I've had it now for about two days. I was waiting to make this video. I lent the camera that I used to record this, these videos to somebody. So I was waiting for it to get back and that's why I'm a little bit delayed here. But we did buy a page. I already have two people contact me asking if they could put ads up on the page. I, and I uh, countered back at 25 bucks a piece for, uh, for the actual advertisements. So yeah, it's really dope. We should be able to get our money back. Uh, entirely what I paid for the page was, uh, it was a little bit more than what I was planning on. 
Yeah, I'm not super happy about the deal I got. I mean, it's still going to be good. We're still going to make money on it. I have uh, no doubt in my mind that we'll be able to turn it to be uh, profitable. However, I would have liked to get it for quite a bit lower. We did buy a slightly bigger page, but the engagement on it is not amazing. It's actually under about 1% right now, but that's just based on the last 10, 20 posts. It has had a few posts go viral, and I'm hoping that by posting a lot more, the last person that owned the page, he really didn't post too much on it, or he or she didn't. Um, so I'm hoping that by increasing the amount of posts that we're doing and doing some better quality posts, we can really ramp the engagement up on it. And already I've seen some big uh, increases. Like in my first two days doing it, my analytics suggest that we went from about 60 followers a day to already about 100 followers a day just in that short period of time. Also, we have, you know, those two people contact me about ads. I think we'll be okay. But the total price I paid for it was $500 US, which is about 700 and something Canadian, which is... <laughs> Yeah, so was it the best deal in the world? No, I actually had another page contact me a little bit bigger at about 50,000 followers, uh, and he was asking for about 500 bucks with a much higher engagement rate, but he was uh, very delayed on the amount of time that it was gonna take him to hand over the page. He said he'd need a week, and I was like, well, I don't really got a week. I'm trying to make this video. I'm trying to get going here, and so I could have bought him. He actually just got back to me and offered the page uh, for sale again for 500 bucks, but unfortunately, at the moment, I did decline the offer because we have a page, and the page that we have is going to be awesome. I think we are going to be able to do really well with it. So that is literally it for this part one of the video. We did buy an Instagram theme page, and we're going to be able to really capitalize it. Again, I'm not going to share the actual name of the theme page just because I want to be using Facebook pixels, and I just don't want to mess around with any of the analytic data if anybody goes and visits it. I do apologize for that. You'll have to take my word. I will throw up some screenshots at some point in this video, I'm sure, of the page that we bought, and I'll just kind of cover up the name or whatever, but uh, it's, I think it's going to work out really well. And maybe at some point down the line in the future, I will share the name of that page. Uh, but for right now, that's pretty much all we're doing. Real quick, my plan for the page and what we're going to be doing with this is turning it into a dropshipping store. Now, dropshipping is kind of shut down for the next little bit. Of course, there's, I think it's the Chinese New Year, is it? Uh, so that's for a couple weeks to a month. And basically, you can't dropship during that time. All the stores are, or all the suppliers, all the factories are shut down. So it really sucks. So that amount of time, however long it is, plus the amount of like, backlog orders that they're going to have to fill, it's going to really kind of slow it down for a little bit. So we're going to wait for a few weeks until that's all over. I'm actually extremely busy right now myself. And I also have a couple other videos on the go, which I'm going to try to release in between there. I know I'm totally rambling now, but there's three things I just want to say before this video ends. And that's that we're going to be launching the dropshipping store in a couple weeks. I have a couple more videos planned to come out, and I do apologize for the lack of videos because... Uh, I've just been like super busy, it's just ridiculous with all this stuff from school and all this stuff from, from the work and whatnot, so I do have a lot of stuff going on, I had a couple people mention that actually in the last video, or uh, in some video with some comments saying this is a lot of stuff that you're trying to do, and I know it is, but I'm pretty confident in my ability to do it. I'll make a whole other video talking about that all in the future, however, uh, yeah, it is a lot going on right now, but it will sort of slow down here as we uh, get further into February. So I plan to upload much more at least twice a week as we get into there, but for right now you'll have to bear with me here with these sort of minimal amounts of uploads, but I hope these are still quality videos and you guys will still get some value from them. And I think I had a third thing to say, but I don't know if I already said it or not, but that's basically everything that's going on. So I think you guys are all filled in. So without any further ado, I'm super excited. I am uh, can't wait to see where this is going to go. I'm going to end the video there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next one.